United States spends more on health care than any other country in the world, a lot more, and yet the outcomes are so poor in terms of longevity. Uh, almost any measure of health will, like either number 30 or 25, or we're pretty low on the list, and people don't know why, with all that money that we spend, and I think we're approaching 17% of gross domestic product, that we get such bad outcomes. In fact, we have the same problem with education, for the, for the record. We spend a lot and don't get the outcomes that we should be getting. Uh, this paper actually explains what we're doing wrong in terms of health care. And uh, there's a very important measure, and I want, I want to know that measure, because sometimes doctors don't even know the measure, and they don't tell you about that measure. It's called NNT, Number Needed to Treat. Before you do any procedure, or take any drug, you should know what the NNT is. Basically, it answers the question of how many people who take that drug or undergo that procedure will be helped, the number needed to treat. Now, with prostate surgery, which I'm now telling you not to do, even though I know a lot of people who did it and had to go through all these horrible side effects, such as incontinence, now that they realize the NNT is 1 out of 50, it's a 50 to 1 ratio. Of 50 people who have that surgery, one benefits. That means everyone has the side effects, and they can be really bad. I mean, the best you can hope for is six months of incontinence. But only one person benefits from it. And they have drugs, same story. They're finding out that a lot of these drugs, 500 people have to take the drugs so that one benefits. But almost everyone will have to deal with the side effects, which in some cases could be death. So that's why this paper is extremely important. If you want to know, before you do anything, you should try to find out what is the NNT. How many people who undergo the procedure or take the drug actually benefit? Even something like blood pressure medication. People take for high blood pressure. Now they're finding out if your blood pressure is only slightly elevated, you shouldn't be taking medications. You should first of all try to look at your diet. And also very often doctors give it to you immediately. You're 60, 65 years old and your blood pressure is a little elevated. They immediately give you the drug and not telling you that it may harm you. Again, sometimes they don't tell you about the NNH, the number needed to harm. In many cases, you know, one out of three, one out of four people will have to suffer. In fact, with blood pressure medication, quite a few people fall. And very often, older people, that's what kills them, the falling. So if the blood pressure is a little bit elevated, you know, you may not want to take drugs right away. And you may not need it even. I mean, that's why you have to know about the NNT for your age group. And I think now the medical profession is saying that if it's only slightly elevated, and you're a certain age, you, may, you shouldn't be taking drugs. So this is an important measure. I'd like you to read the paper so this way you'll know whether, uh, before you do a procedure, whether it's actually going to help you. Oh, by the way, a myth. Everyone thinks you have to go to the doctor every year. That's an American myth that you need an annual checkup. If you look at some, most countries in the world, there's no such thing. You don't go to a doctor every year because they know that uh, it doesn't help. In many cases, it'll actually harm you because the doctors examine you too much, find things that don't really need anything, will give you drugs, and are more likely to harm you than help you. And that's why in Canada, there's no such thing as an annual checkup. In most of the world, no one talks about annual checkups. You have a problem, and it doesn't go away, then you talk to the doctor and go to them. But just, just to go to a doctor when everything is fine, it's kind of looking for trouble.